Hi, this is Kara from Darling Vulgarity. Today I'm going to talk about styling the boudoir dress. The boudoir dress is not meant to be worn as a dress. It is, according to Selkie, meant to be lingerie. When I first saw the boudoir dress and Dauphine knickers, I loved them. I knew I wanted them. I didn't know what I was going to do with them, <laughs> so I'd prance around the house by myself, but I knew that I, I liked them and I wanted to do something. In a lot of their product photos, Selkie styles the boudoir dress with these. These are the Dauphine knickers. This is an extra large. I'm not going to model them for you because they are quite cheeky. They definitely fit like underwear or like a cute bathing suit bottom. And again, prancing around the house, they're great. <laughs> but as far as just putting them on with the boudoir dress and leaving the house, I'm not gonna do that. My Dauphine knickers typically get used underneath of my shorter Selkie dresses. I wouldn't wear them like shorts. If you are brave enough to do that, that is amazing and I applaud you. This is the boudoir dress. Again, in an extra large. This is in the baby soft color. I should have said the Dauphine knickers are in vanilla. You can see this one is completely sheer. Front is open. It is very pretty. It has a sheared bust, the signature Selkie puff sleeve, and all of this really gorgeous, soft, so soft lace detail. I knew that I wanted to buy it. I can totally appreciate lingerie made by women for women, but an almost $300 purchase just to wear inside for myself is not super financially viable for me. I wanted to figure out another way to get mileage out of this piece. This one really stumped me. I had to try on quite a few outfits and quite a few different combinations of things to find any looks that I genuinely liked and that I would genuinely wear out. So I'm going to try them on for you now and then let me know what you think. The first thing I have found that works is take just a floral or solid sundress that you were gonna wear anyway and layer it right over top. This one is sort of a nap dress. It has a sheared front and it also has puff sleeves. So I kind of just fiddled with it a bit and layered them underneath. So it almost looks like it's all one piece. The boudoir dress adds a really nice bit of dimension to what would otherwise just be a basic everyday sundress. This is another basic sundress. It is a tank top instead of the puff sleeve and a solid instead of the floral. And I think it still works really well to layer the boudoir dress over top. So this is the Selkie boudoir dress with just a white cotton eyelet skirt underneath and the soft corset over top. Um, the soft corset I'm wearing is in the summer home print. I didn't know about this print at first, but I wear this all the time. I, I love it. So you never know. A nice white cotton skirt mimics the look that Selkie had with the knickers and the boudoir dress, but makes it a little more daytime wearable. I think the secret to the boudoir dress is to treat it like an accessory, a little bit more stylish than a top and bottom by itself. Who wants to have this beautiful piece just to wear inside all the time? You have to show it off. What I have on now is just a cotton prairie skirt with a white tank top that has a little bit of ruffle lace detail that mirrors the top of the boudoir dress. There is a little bit of the same pale pink in the print of the prairie skirt that matches the boudoir dress. The floral prairie prints go really well with a lot of the Selkie stuff that has the puffy shoulders and the sheared bust lines. So I have this brocade pattern slip by Spell in like a seafoam green. I would definitely wear this at night in the summertime, especially if you're sitting somewhere outside or going on like 
a beach vacation, any classic vintage slip would totally work underneath this dress. While this isn't one I would just go out to brunch in, I did want to show it to you because I think it's kind of a fun layering option if you were doing a fairy core thing or just taking some fun Instagram photos or going to the Renaissance Fair. So my first layer is just a white slip. The second layer is the French courtship slip by Free People. And then I have the boudoir dress off the shoulder and the Duchess corset over top of that one. I really, really wanted to somehow make the boudoir dress work with either cut off shorts or a pair of jeans. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't figure it out. If you can figure it out, please let me know. Uh, leave me a comment, send me a message. Um, I wanna know how you did it. After a lot of experimenting, those are the looks I came up with that I liked the best for the boudoir dress. If you wanna do more with it, then just wear it around the house as lingerie. Hopefully some of those ideas jogged your imagination a little bit and you have some ideas for how you wanna style your boudoir dress. Thanks.